Self-promotion probably isn't something that I've been comfortable with over the years because you always want to come across as humble and as grounded and it's not until you actually look at your achievements that you can be proud of them really. I am remarkable. I'm remarkable. I am remarkable. When you make mistakes, it's very public and ultimately people will form an opinion on you based on one moment, which could be a lapse of judgment, a lapse of concentration, and you are judged for that one moment. We do make mistakes. We can also be tarnished quite a lot for making mistakes and it's quite a big burden to have. When you were younger and you play games and people would always comment saying, well girls shouldn't be playing football and then even as you get older when we play for England, you still get the odd comments on social media saying, oh well this is rubbish, get the men's football on. And I find it quite sad that we're constantly having to, to battle with their comments. When I went online to Liverpool. I was still relatively young and my maturity level in the game wasn't obviously at its highest. It was my first time being a professional and I genuinely truly felt that I'd failed as a, as a footballer. I'm not a quitter, I've always been someone that um, will take anything face on no matter what's thrown at me. But that was a really, really struggling time in my life where I genuinely felt that it, I wasn't good enough to, to do it. I'd probably go back to when I was nine years old playing in games and the mums and dads of, of the boys I was playing against would be saying kick that girl and I just remember tears streaming down my face and, and leaving the football pitch a substitute coming on because I was I was so upset. The parents really made us feel very small so that was probably a point when I thought why am I different, why can't I just play the sport that I love. I am remarkable because when I first got sent away from Chelsea to Liverpool on loan, I thought that my career at Chelsea was over. I felt like I'd failed myself and my family and I was totally devastated at the thought of not being good enough. I learned how to believe in myself and prioritise my mental health, asking for help and relying on those around me to help me go through this very challenging time. I am remarkable because even though I came from a council estate in central Liverpool, I achieved my dream of becoming a professional football player. As a small girl, I had dreams that didn't even exist in the real world. Always wanted to play football, but with a big heart and a massive passion for the game, a massive work ethic, then I've gone on to achieve my dreams of playing for England over a hundred times and creating fantastic memories with my teammates. I have won every trophy available in club women's football, both in England and France. I think I always go above and beyond, especially when it comes to the fans and trying to create a platform for women's football that girls feel like they can dream and they can go on to achieve their successes without any barriers or obstacles in the way. There was a lot of feelings, I think, that came with writing down my own achievements. I think it's very easy to turn to the negatives. If you asked me to sit there and write all the negatives, I'd have probably had two, three, four pages full. And then you look at the positives and there's about three or four bullet points and, and you're really trying to scramble in your brain what you think are positives. You don't want to come across as whether you're being arrogant or too self-absorbed. I think writing them down was easier at first than just saying them because I could look at it and I was constantly looking at it thinking, is that a fact? Yes, it's a fact. So it's okay, I can write that about myself. Seeing it in front of my teammates, that was very difficult.
since this workshop, realising how much you can empower other women, how much you can empower the next generation. I think I've realised that we have a responsibility to talk confidently about ourselves because if we don't, how are younger children going to talk confidently about themselves? It is important to put out there and, and let people know that you are your number one fan and that you're proud of what it is that you've achieved. There was a, a time recently where in the league I, I got an achievement of 150 appearances and I was writing this tweet out for ages just saying so proud to have reached my 150th appearance but I must have deleted it about 50 times because I was like I don't want to come across big-headed, I don't want to come across arrogant. But next time I achieve something I'm going to own it.